Okay, friends, I think I did it. I don't know why Facebook wouldn't let me on until now, but here we are. Welcome. I'm so excited to teach you today, and uh, we're going to get started as soon as I make sure all of these things are working. Someone send me a message. Let me know if this is actually happening out there. Are you seeing me? Are you hearing me? <laughs> How would I even know? All right, so uh, I'm Biz Vardy. I'm a dance artist and arts administrator, among other things. And today I'm going to teach you some social dance moves from the 50s and 60s. But before I launch into that, I just want to say thank you to the London Arts Council and the London Free Press. They are paying me to do this. It's not just out of the goodness of my heart, though. Obviously, I love to dance. Uh, so thank you both organizations for keeping us artists employed during this tough time. And uh, thank you viewers, if you're watching me. I can't see who's on yet, but I'm glad you're here with me. Uh, we're going to start with a warm up, not because you really need a warm up for these moves, but to more do a sound check and give anyone else who's having technical difficulties a chance to catch up. Uh, it looks like uh, people are seeing me, good news. All right, so I can't see the comments when I'm back there teaching, so I'll check in every once in a while. If I don't see you and respond to you, know that I love you, all of you, for watching. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do the warm up. Follow me with your eyes. If you can't hear me, write me a message and I will adjust the settings in a moment. So here we go, I think. All right, feet nice and wide. And let's start with our heads. Look up to the ceiling, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Keep it going. Go to warm up your neck because when we get to the monkey, you'll thank me. Now I want you to turn to the side, side, looking over your shoulder. Side to side. Now tilt ear to your shoulder. Your hair stuck to your chapstick. Now's the time to fix it. All right, now shoulder rolls. Add a little knee bend. Roll those shoulders. Now elbows up and around. I'm backing up because I can't see my own arms. Give me some feedback. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Whole arm circle. Good, shoulder roll to the front. Front, keep those knees going. Front, front, add the elbows around. Around, 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 full arm. Watch me now, we're going to side bend and come back up, other side. And up, add an arm if you like, side, and up. Other side, up, a couple more of these, and the other side. All right, now you're going to twist. Just let your arms flail about, twist your whole body. I'll teach you the actual twist in a minute, but for now, we're just warming up. All the way down to your feet, let your head swing. You got it. All right, now we're going to circle our hips. Bend your knees a little bit. How far around can you go? Is it a circular circle or is it a bit more of an ellipse? <laughs> go the other way, my friends. Around. So today I'm going to teach you social dance moves. And by social dance, I mean the kind of moves you see at parties, weddings, in the club, if you're old enough for such things. Ballroom and Latin dance forms are also kinds of social dance. We're not talking about the fun moves, and today we're going to do uh, the fun moves from the 50s and 60s. I want you to do a knee lift, other side. Knee up and down. Good stuff. Do four more of these. You got it. All right, now I want you to kick yourself in the butt. If you're on your couch and you're just watching, if you need a break, that's cool. But if you can, kick yourself in the butt, get yourself warmed up. A couple of these hamstring curls, you can swing your arms, if you like. A little Jane Fonda warm up here. 
<laughs> that was my early introduction to moving with videos. My mom had quite the extensive Jane Fonda collection. All right, now I want you to reach for the sky and come down to the floor. Bend your knees if you need to, reach up and come down. All the way up, all the way down, all the way up, come back down. One more time, up and down. Now we'll shake it out. Shake your hands, shake your arms all over the place. Shake a leg, shake the other leg, shake your tail feather. We're gonna do that move too. And now shake everything. Good stuff, we're warmed up. I'm gonna check in on the comments here. How are we doing? Music is choppy and faint. Okay, I will turn it up. And I like to see you guys dancing out there. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna start with a couple of moves. I'm going to turn the music up for you first. Now, the music might be choppy because my internet connection is not the best, so hang in there. I hope it's not uh, too horrifying from your end. Okay, so we're going to do step touch. This, this is the move. If you don't know any other dance move, this is the one that will save your life on the dance floor someday. Like most social dance moves, it has a lot of different names. Some people call it the two-step. I call it the step touch because of my jazz background. So you're going to step to the side, and you're going to take your other foot in, and just touch your toe. Don't put your weight on it, just touch it. Then you go to the other side, step, touch your toe, step, touch your toe. Move a little faster, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. You can add any arms you like, step, touch, step, touch. So this is great, you can just do this. If you're on the dance floor and you don't know what else to do, just bob your head. You can also add arms. You've got lots of options here. All right, keep giving me some feedback about the music. Can you hear it? We got our step touch. We're gonna go a little faster. Step, touch, step, touch, and a clap. Step, touch your toe, step, touch your toe. Two more times. We're gonna go double time just for fun. Step, touch, step, touch. You don't wanna step as far when you're going this fast. So you could do this slow dancing if you got a partner you like. Maybe not this fast, obviously. Step, touch, we'll do four, three, two, one. You got it. All right, checking in on the music volume. Hi, Nicole. <laughs> All right. I'm going to teach you the box step. If you saw my preview, you already know this one, but we'll go over it just in case. So start with your feet about hip width apart, and you're going to step one foot in front of the other. So you're going to step this foot in front of that one. So you've already made three corners of the box. This one, that one, and the one in front. To get that fourth corner, you need to swing this back leg all the way around. And then this leg that's behind you just steps back right behind the other foot. So it's out, front, around, back, side, front, around. You can swing your arms, side, front, around, back, side, front, around, and back. This is another one. It's pretty far on the dance floor if you can't do anything else. Around you go. Side, front, around, and back. Okay, let's try it on the other side. So we're gonna go this way from this corner to the opposite corner of the box. The back leg swings around, step back, and out to the side again. Front, around, back, side. One more time, slow, around, back, side. A little faster, front, around, back, side, front, around, back, side, and then any arms you like. Front, around, so back, side. What are the words again? <laughs> Front, around, back, side. Two more. Last one. All right, good stuff, my friends. So the song that I'm playing is a song about the twist. And one of the cool things about 
social dance moves from this era, especially, is they have songs about them. And a lot of those songs are by Chubby Checker. So uh, we're going to do the twist. This isn't a song about twisting, but we'll get to it. We're going to start with our hips, or feet, hip width apart again, and you're going to swivel your hips. You can imagine that you've got a towel and you're drying your butt. Comes up like a cartoon would drive their bum after the shower. And then you flatten your hands, and you got the basic twist move. If you're a dance or movement nerd, we're moving in the transverse plane. Now, just for fun, you can shift your weight over to one side, and let the other leg kind of swing. Keep the weight on your toe, and then we'll shift over to the other side. Twist it. Yeah. Back and forth, side to side. It's a great ab workout. And we can do more. We can lean forward while we twist. And we can lean back. We can lean back and forward. Twist it as you lean back and forward. Back and forward. You can also twist down low, which is really hard in my running shoes, but you can do it anyway. Back up. Twist it down. And back up. We're going to use this one later. Let's go back down and up. One more time down and up. Well done. All right. I'm going to put on a song about twisting. I'm just going to check in. Oh, Mike. No such thing. Do the workout. <laughs> nice to see ya. All right. Songs about twisting. This one, covered by the Beatles, but originally by the Isley Brothers. Shake it up and twist it. Lean it back and forth. You got it. Both feet, down you go. And back up. Good stuff. I'm giving you the next twist song. Give a little taste of each one here. That's the wrong one. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Okay, I'm gonna pause the music for a moment because I don't know what the, uh, the effect is out there, if y'all can hear me. Am I live again? Sorry guys, I don't know what happened. The internet is not in my favor right now. I'm uh, switching devices and hoping that you can see me now. And I'm gonna try and get this going again so that we can all dance together. Let's see. It's gonna be a little hard to see myself here. That's a terrible angle. Okay, we can do better. All right, can you see me there? Oh, someone can see me. Hey, Alyssa. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Here we go. We were doing the hand drive, but we're going to move on because I lost a few minutes there. I hope you can uh, rejoin me here and uh, we'll pick up where we left off after I tie my shoe. And I'm going to grab some tunes because I've switched devices. All right, Land of a Thousand Dances. Do you know that song? It lists a bunch of moves, all of which I'm going to teach you now. The very first of them is the pony. He says, you gotta know how to pony. And I will show you how as soon as I get the music working here. Thanks again to the London Arts Council and the London Free Press, especially for bearing with me while well, whatever's happening is happening here. Oh, no, tunes. Okay, can't have much of a dance lesson without tunes. We'll see what I can pull off here. Hang in there, friends. All right. 
video set up. Music connected. Take two, here we go. The pony. This is a step kind of like a pony would do. Hopefully you can see my head. It's kind of a funny angle. Let me see if I can fix that. <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. All right, so the pony is a little hop to one side. So you hop over here, and instead of just a touch like we did with the step touch, you're gonna do a, a weight shift onto that. You're gonna go up on your toe and back down. The other side, hop, up, down. And it goes a little faster, so it's like you're trotting like a pony. Hop up, down, hop up, down, hop up, down, hop up, down. You can get a little fancy with the feet if you like. And for the arms, we're going to try this, which isn't what a pony does, because the pony's busy using its legs to trot. We're going to do one hand up. We're going to kind of bend our wrists with our fists like this. Got it? So when you go to one side, step up, down, the other side. Pony, 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 pony. So you got to know how to pony, says the song, and then you got a bony maroni. Bony maroni is quite simple. You're going to cross one leg over the other, and then you're going to stick that back leg out to the side, take your arms with it, and shake them like you're rattling your skeleton. Then take that leg that's out, cross it over, take it out to the side, the back leg, and shake the hands and feet. Bony maroni. Pony Maroni from the top. You gotta know how to pony. We're going to the side. Do four of these ponies and then two Bony Maroni. Cross, point and shake, cross, point and shake. Got that? Next we'll do the mashed potato. There's a song about the mashed potato. It's called Mashed Potatoes Time. Um, and I've heard people say this is the mashed potato. Again, we can argue till we're blue in the face about the different names for uh, social dance moves, but this is what they do in the video for the mashed potato. You take your foot out to the side, a little bend in the knee, kind of fling your foot out and put it down, other side, and down. And if you've got a floor where you can swivel, you can take the other heel out as you do it. But I'm having trouble swiveling on carpet here. So foot out and in, out and in from the side, out and in, out and in. Have a little bounce with it. You can also flap your arms like you're mashing potatoes with your feet. So in the dance we'll do four of these. You got mashed potato and then we'll do the alligator which is exactly what it sounds like. Take your arms out in front, open, chomp, alligator teeth. Open, chomp. If you want you can flip to the other hand on top, open, chomp. Do the alligator. And because I like to keep my feet moving, I'm going to do mashed potato feet while I do alligator arms. So from the top, you got to know how to pony. Four of these. Cross over for the bony maroni. Two of those. Do the mashed potato. Four of these. And then do the alligator. One, two, three, four. Put your hands on your hip is what the song says next. But I like to step out and out hands on your hips. Just that simple. And then you let your backbone slip. So just imagine that your backbone, your spine, has suddenly gotten slippery and then let it slide around. There's no specific way to let your backbone slip. Do it however feels good to you, but let it feel slippery. So we put our hands on our hips and let the backbone slip. And then we do the Watusi. Now here's one with a ton of debate. Watusi is an African word and it could be used to describe a range of dances inspired by African folks, but the one we're going to do is the one you've probably seen Tina Turner do. Make cactus arms like this. You're going to step forward, basically do the pony with your feet. Step up, down, and you're going to fling your arms forward. So you're turning those cactus arms upside down and drop your head. So leaning forward, pony with the feet. And then come back. So back and forth with these cactus arms. Do the Watusi, forward and back. So we'll go forward and back twice. Forward and back, forward and back. As the song says, like my girl Lucy, because uh, the daughter of a famous president, whose name was Lucy, was once caught doing this dance on the dance floor. Uh, so we'll keep going for my girl Lucy. To the front and back. 
let's do all of that from the top and then I'll see if I can find that song and we'll do it with music. So here we go, pony. Step up down with the arms. You know how to pony. Three, four, bony maroni. Cross, shake it, cross, point and shake. Mashed potato, heels, flipping out, four of those. Do the alligator, just add these arms. Put your hands on your hip and let your backbone slip. And then we do the Watusi, front and back. Keep going like my girl Lucy. Check it out, you got it. All right, let me get the music going. I don't know if I can see your comments. I can see people are watching. <laughs> this is such an odd angle. Doing the best we can here. <laughs> All right, so try it with music, just give me a sec. Land of a thousand dances. All right. We're going to warm up with a little step touch. One, two, three. Step touch. We go right into it. We're going to pony. Here we go. You got to know how to pony. Like Boney Maroney. Point and shake. Do the mashed potato. Add the arms. Do the alligator. Put your hands on your hips and let your backbone slip. Do a lot to say, like my girl Lucy. Step and touch with a clap. Good job, everybody. Now I want you to add the hand jive. Here we go. Back, 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 cross, cross, bump, bump, hitchhike, hitchhike. Job, my friends. All right, we're gonna try that again. One more time with the music. I'm trying to check your comments. It's going well out there. Okay, good. <laughs> Here we go. One more time. Step touch while we warm up. We'll do all of the moves and then we'll follow with a hand drive. Can you see me? I'm trying to stay in the frame, but the phone's teeny tiny. You're doing great out there. Step touch. Here we go. Pony. Oh, one, two, three, four. Cross. Boney Maroney. Shake it out. Mashed potato. Get those heels going out. Do the arms for the alligator. Put your hands on your hips. Take a breath. Back bone slip. Do the Watusi. Forward and back. Forward, back. Forward, back. All right. Here we go. Cross, cross, fist bump, fist bump, hitchhike. Can you step touch while you do it? Na 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 let me get my face in the frame while I tell you this story. Hello. A few years back, I did a flash mob called Shake Tail Feather after the song of the same name. And uh, even in the few years since then, there's more and more available on the internet. Back in the day, you couldn't look up any dance you wanted to learn. You had to learn it from a friend or maybe something you saw on TV. There was no YouTube. And even in the couple of years since I originally did this dance, I have found uh, more videos explaining more accurately how to do some of these moves. Whew, you guys are making me work hard. Um, so if you were part of that flash mob, you might notice I've changed this up a little bit um, to be a little bit more historically accurate. And again, if you want to see some of my source material, I am going to post a YouTube playlist with uh, a bunch of the songs about these dances um, and some a little bit of more recent stuff just to give you a taste of where it all came from. So these moves are in Shake a Tail Feather. We're gonna try and do them at speed, but honestly, don't worry if you don't get it the first time. Try to learn the moves with me and you've got the power to rewind. Try it again later if it doesn't work. So 
Here we go. <laughs> the first one, you already know. You do the twist. Twist those hips. You can do any version of the twist that you like. All right, after the twist, we do the fly. Another one that's really simple. Uh, another song by Chubby Checker, The Fly. He does it a little bit uh, more flaily than I do. My ballet training makes me want to do nice, beautiful flying arms. So if yours, yours is more like this, that's probably more accurate, but I like to do mine like I'm flapping my wings. And I just keep my legs moving because that's how we dancers do. So you do the twist, and then you do the fly. One, two, three, four. Then you do the swim. The swim, there's another song I will post for you later, is pretty much what it sounds like. Do swimming motions while looking like you're dancing. So we do front crawl, front crawl, do a little head motion if you like. Then we're going to jump and dive in. So swim, one arm, the other arm, one arm up, grab your nose like you're jumping in, holding your breath, and the other side, the waviness is to imitate the water. All right, so you twist, you fly, one, two, three, four, you swim, crawl, crawl, dive, dive, and then you do the bird. The bird, yet another dance. Uh, this one had a song, uh, but you probably recognize it from the movie Hairspray, if you know that one, or from the Broadway musical. So, pretty simple. You can put your hands on your hips and flap your wings, and if you've got the mobility, stick your chin out. Kind of like doing that mm -mm pigeon. So we've got four of those. Bird, 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 bird. All right, so let's just do those four together. Four counts of each one. Here we go, do the twist. Two, three, four, and do the fly. Two, three, four, do the swim. Swim, 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 and do the bird, 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 bird. Nice work. Next, we're going to do the jerk. Now, he might actually say do the dirt in the song, but I don't know a move called the dirt. I do know a move called the jerk, and it's very simple. You're just gonna jerk your body, uh, your upper body, and then the other way, jerk. So swing, you can do a little back bend, fling your arms, jerk it, you can jerk to the side. This one is more about the way you move and not the, uh, the specific moves that you're doing. So jerk, 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 jerk. That one's got lots of room for your own style. Okay, four jerks, <laughs> and then we'll do the monkey. This one, I couldn't find source material for, but it's, uh, Pretty universally known. You've got your fists, palms facing each other, one arm up and the other down. You can nod your head as you go. Remember when we warmed up our necks? This is why. Because this one's uh, fun and easy, we're going to do eight double time. We go one, two, three, four for the monkey. So let's review from the jerk. You fling. It's very similar to the monkey, but jerkier. Jerk. Two, three, four and monkey one and two and three and four and then we're going to do the watusi again you know this one cactus arms little pony with the feet forward and back uh so you do the jerk two three four and the monkey two three four watusi front back front back and then we do the frug which I'm a fan of because this is some Fosse, for those of you who know your dance uh, icons, Bob Fosse. We're going to make fists. This is very 60s, this one. And you might know this move from uh, Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure, you know, tequila, but this is called the Frug. So you step forward and you bring your hands behind you. And, sorry, you step forward, bring your hands in front of you. Kind of bump your fists together. They don't have to actually touch, but you do front. So two little pulses, pulse front, and stick your hips back as you do it. And then step your other foot forward and pulse your arms to the back. So pulse in front, pulse in back. Your hips go the opposite direction of your arms. Forward, back, forward, back. So we'll do the frug. We go one, two, three, four. Let's review that from the top. We're so close to done this particular dance. 
I think you're gonna have fun putting it with the music. So we do the twist, two, three, four. We do the fly, two, three, four. We do the swim, 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 swim. We do the bird, bird, three, four. We do the jerk, 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 jerk. We do the monkey, two, three, four. Watch who's see front, back, front, back. We do the frug, front and back, front, and back. If you don't have a lot of space, you can do it just on the spot like this. If you have any questions, I'm afraid I can't see them. The type is too small over there. Rewind or I will hit you up later with the answers, okay? Almost there. Mashed potato. You already know this one. Fling your foot out, turning your knee in. Four of those with the arms of your choice. Three, four. And the boogaloo. This is a James Brown move. You're going to do one arm up and one arm down. I don't know what to call this. Cactus arm, one in each direction. And you're going to step to the side. It's a step ball change. So you step side, step back, side. So left, right, left, right, left, right. You kind of fling your arms and move your torso, if you want to do a body roll with it. Wait till you see the video of James Brown doing this. <laughs> the announcer he's talking to accuses him of getting too heavy, a little too much of that hip action. It's the boogaloo. Side, back, side, side, back, side. We'll do four of those. If you want to get funky with it, you can do it with thumbs, like a hippie. All right, then the bony maroni. You know that one, crossover. Shake your foot in your hands, cross over, point the leg, shake, and then back to the twist. Can you see me there? All right, and that is all the moves that we're going to do uh, for shake tail feather. So we're gonna put them together. I'm gonna put on the music. We're going to go through them slowly for the first part of the song, but there's a specific part of the song just before two minutes where uh, he lists all of these moves in order. We're gonna try and keep up, but it's a tricky one. So I'm gonna be honest with you, you probably can't see it, but I've got a cheat sheet taped to the wall. <laughs> so I remember how to do these in order. So if you want, get a piece of paper, write down in order, or rewind and practice until you got it, okay? We're gonna burn a few calories doing this one. Let's go. One more time through all the moves and then with music. Oh geez, I hope that song is on here. Let's see, might have to get creative. Good thing I'm an artist. <laughs> Shake a tail feather, are you here? Hooray, it's here. Okay. Make sure that's the right one. Well, uh, excuse me. Uh, I don't think I Perfect. Okay. Actually. My friends. Someone's messaging me from upstairs. Okay. Here we go. We're going to twist. Two, three, four. And then we fly. One, two, three. Then we swim. For one, two, three, four. Do the bird. One, two, three, four. Four, we do the jerk, 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 and then we monkey, two, three, four. Watch, you see front, back, front, back in the frug, front, back, front. Next is mashed potato, one, two, three, four. Boogaloo, side, side. Oh, I lied, only, only time for two boogaloos, just two. And then we bony maroni, cross and shake, cross, and shake and we twist and that's the whole thing one more time just a little bit faster five six seven eight we do the twist two three four we fly one two three four we swim one two three four bird oh one two three four we jerk one two three four do the monkey two three four what you see front back front back and frug front and back front and back we do the mash potato three four two boogaloos one two bony roni cross and shake cross and shake back to the twist 
and you did the whole thing. All right, with music. Questions? I might be able to see your comments here. Nope, I just see who's watching. Shout out to all of my friends, family, fans watching. My nieces and nephews are out there. Hey guys, my kids are too young to watch this. All right. Yeah. Do let me know how the volume level is now that we've switched devices. Crank it up a little bit more. Here we go. We're going to twist. Just practice doing all right. Let's fly. Swim. Swim again. Good. To the bird. Four more of these. Now we jerk. One, two, three, four. Lucky one, two, three, four. Watch you see. Couple more of two sees. Do the fruit hands. Front, back, front. Here it comes with the music. Wish me luck. I'm wishing you luck. Here we go. Let's start from the twist. One, two, three, four. Fly. One, two, three, four. Swim. One, two, three. Next is the bird. Jerk. And the little monkey. Coming up on two seat. How's the volume, my friends? Yeah. I wish I could see your comments. Oh, maybe I can scroll. No one says it's not loud enough, so I'm hoping this is working. All right, starts with the twist. Here we go. Eight counts of each twist. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's fly for eight. Swim for eight. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, swim, swim, and bird. Get those elbows going. Get your chin out. A couple more of these while we wait for the music and jerk. Yeah, monkey. Keep the monkey going. Watch your seat front. Back, front, back.
job, everybody. Keep dancing. You can practice any of the moves we did earlier. You can box step. Until the music ends, which you just did. Okay, man. All right, buddies. Well, I'm sorry for the technical difficulties, but I really thank you for joining me. I'm afraid I gotta wrap it up because there are more great artists coming your way. I think Hillary Watson is next. Uh, my friend and yours, Elizabeth Morgan, will be doing another dance lesson at 7 p.m. And Eric, whose last name is escaping me, will be on at 8 o'clock. Thank you to the London Arts Council and the London Free Press for making this possible. And if you are able and you would like to help out some artists, you can go to the London Arts Council page and make a donation to their Artist Relief Fund. It would be much appreciated. If you enjoyed that and you would like to do some more dancing lessons with me, you, uh, you can message me on Facebook or you can visit my website, which is admittedly a little out of date, but has accurate contact info, bizvardy.com. I think that that was all the things I needed to tell you. Thank you for being here. Um, and rewind, practice, do it again. I'll be back at some future date that is not yet determined. Uh, and I'm going to teach you some 70s moves. I've had a request for the hustle. And uh, I think I promised Joe Belanger I'd teach you the moonwalk. <laughs> and uh, if there's anything else you want to learn, please let me know. Thank you so much for joining me. And have a great day.